Hi, my name is Ashok. I'm from Phoenix Training Institute. We are providing free classroom training in Mumbai for uh, one entire month for CFA aspirants so that they themselves can decide if they wish to continue this certification. Please feel free to contact us for uh, further details. Thank you. Of the portfolio for three assets. So how to find out variance of the portfolio for three assets uh, when covariance matrix is given okay so covariance matrix for three assets okay so it goes like this asset Example domestic stocks. I'm just taking this example from Schweizer domestic bonds and international equities. International equities. Similarly, here domestic stocks. domestic bonds and then international equities okay so here it is 400 44 180 44 70 35 180 35 450 so this is the question okay. now i can consider you know this is stock a b c a b c so this is covariance matrix so this is as good as covariance a comma a okay this a and this c and uh, this one is covariance b comma b this b and this b this one is covariance C comma C. This one and this one. And this 44 is covariance B comma A. Okay, this B and A. This is covariance C comma A. Similarly, this is covariance a comma b this is a and b this is covariance c comma a okay. c comma a this is covariance a comma c a comma c this is covariance b comma c So this is the given condition and plus so let's say we have invested 60 percentage of the assets in, in stock A that is domestic bonds. Sorry, domestic stocks then uh, 30 percentage invested in stock b 
which is domestic bonds and the remaining 10 percentage is invested in international equities which is stock C so I mark this as stock C international equities so this is the question how do I find out variance of the portfolio for three assets so asset A domestic stock asset B uh, domestic bonds and then asset C international equities okay so first of all variance of your portfolio for two assets is equal to weight 1 or weight A stand, standard deviation A square plus weight B standard deviation B square plus 2 into weight A standard deviation uh, A into weight B standard deviation B uh, plus sorry into R so this is the formula uh, for variance of the portfolio for two assets I can further elaborate this formula as weight A into standard deviation A square plus weight B into standard deviation B square plus 2 into weight A into standard deviation A into weight B into standard deviation B into covariance of A comma B divided by standard deviation of A into standard deviation of B so standard deviation a a gets cancelled standard deviation b b gets cancelled so i will be left out with weight a into standard deviation a square plus weight b into standard deviation b whole square plus 2 into weight a into weight b into covariance of a comma b okay so if you want further you know explanation on this portfolio you can click on the upper link and uh, you know get the details where I have explained all this further okay but otherwise coming to this formula where I need the formula for variance of a portfolio for three assets variance of a portfolio for three assets so for three assets how will I do so it is weight A standard deviation A square plus weight B standard deviation B square just you know I am taking this formula only here and then because I have three assets here I will say plus weight C standard deviation C uh -huh, square weight c standard deviation c square plus 2 into weight a into weight b covariance of a comma b okay and then further i will elaborate A comma B. Further, I will elaborate this as 2 into weight A B. So let's say B and weight C. Okay, here I used weight A, weight B. So I'll use weight B, weight C and covariance of B comma C. Plus, so I used A, B, then B, C. Now I will use uh, A and C. So 2 into 
weight A into weight C, covariance of A comma C. So this is this is the formula. Okay. So if you see, I'm just extending this formula. Okay, thinking from three assets perspective. The previous one was two assets perspective. So once I get this formula, uh, then there is one more thing to learn from here. See, this I can write as weight A stand square standard deviation A square. Okay, weight B square standard deviation B square plus weight C square standard deviation c square plus 2 into weight a weight b into covariance of a comma b plus 2 into weight b weight c covariance of b comma c plus i'm just going to rewrite this one so this is the case now once i get this so this is the this is the actual formula now so once I get this, so over here, how do I do this sum with this formula? Because here it is asking about variance. Okay, variance. This is variance. So standard deviation square, variance of A, variance of B, variance of C. And then weight A, weight B, I know which is, uh, you know, 60 and 30 percentage. It is mentioned here, weight A, 30, 60 percentage, 30 percentage, 10 percentage. So I know the weight. What I don't know is... I know the covariance also. So covariance of AB is uh, covariance of AB. So covariance of A comma B is here, 44. So I know the covariance as well. So I know the covariance of uh, A comma B. I know the covariance of you know C comma A, C comma A or A comma C. It's one and the same. Okay. So covariance of here C comma A is 180 or A comma C 180. See here A comma C it is 180. Okay, so covariance also I know, but what I don't know here is the variance. Okay, this covariance also I know, weight also I know. In this formula, what I don't know now is the variance. So how do I get the variance? Now here comes another derivation. So. Now that this derivation is covariance covariance of a comma a is equal to variance of a okay so how do i prove this because covariance of a comma b is equal to summation of summation of a minus a bar into b minus b bar divided by n minus 1 okay now when i say covariance is between a comma a only not b so in that case summation of a minus a bar again a minus a bar divided by n minus 1 so it becomes summation of a minus a bar the whole square divided by n minus 1 and that is nothing but you know variance so this is the formula of variance so that's why covariance of a comma a is equal to variance of a so once it is proved that covariance of a comma a is equal to variance of a covariance of b comma b is equal to variance of b and similarly covariance of c 
C, C is equal to variance of C. So now you see here weight A is um, weight A is uh, 60 percentage square into this is variance of A. So variance of A is covariance of A comma A. So that is equal to 400. So 400 plus weight of B square. So B's weight is 30 percentage square and variance of B is covariance of B. So covariance of B is 70. So 70 square. So square will not come, this itself is the variance here. 70 plus C's weight is 10 percentage square and covariance of C. So covariance of C is 450, this part. So I'll write 450 here plus 2 into weight A into weight B. Weight A is 60 percent into weight B is 30 percentage into covariance of A comma B. So covariance of A comma B is 44. So 44 plus 2 into weight B into weight C. So weight B is 30 percent into 10 percentage into covariance of B comma C. So B comma C, covariance of B comma C here it is 35. So 35 plus then 2 into weight A is um, 40, sorry 60 percentage, weight C is 10 percentage okay. so 10 and 60 into covariance of covariance of AC so covariance of A comma C A comma C is 180 180 Okay, so when you solve all this, you should get equal to 194.34. Okay, so you can solve. You can solve this part and keep it you know and store it keep it in store one solve this part store two store three and store four store five and then store six okay so you will get this answer Right. And if they ask the standard deviation, all you have to do is you have to take the square root. So standard deviation of the portfolio for these three assets is equal to root of 194.34. Okay, so which will come to 13.94 percentage that's it thank you so much for watching this